question. The question was, what's the difference between recognizing Israel as a state or as a fact um, and recognizing Israel as a Jewish state? What's the value added in our insistence on being recognized as a Jewish state? I'll give you two answers. First of all, on a practical level, um, the Palestinians have a clear plan, which is to overwhelm Israel with Arabs through what they call the right of return. Um, and so that the Israeli state will one day no longer be a majority Jewish state. And the minute that Israel is a state, a secular democratic state, um, one day it could be a secular democratic state with an Arab majority. And clearly, if you read Arab thinkers and writers, that's where they're going. Recognition of Israel as a Jewish state says that I recognize that the Jewish people has an intrinsic, historic tie to the land. It means that they're not just here as a fact. Circumstances are that there was a powerful Jewish return to the land of Israel, and they have a strong army, and we have to live with it. But it says that I recognize the right of the Jewish people to live here and to express its national self-determination as a Jewish state. Now, notice, almost all the states in the Middle East define themselves as Islamic states. There are states in the Middle East where it's forbidden to practice another religion, such as Saudi Arabia. American troops serving in Saudi Arabia cannot express their Christianity publicly outside of American bases because it's an affront to the Islamic character of Saudi Arabia. Now, Israel doesn't mean a Jewish state is a theocratic state. This is a point that's not always understood. Um, when Benjamin Netanyahu wants Israel to be recognized as a Jewish state, he doesn't mean that it's a state that will be run according to halakha, according to Jewish law, according to Jewish religious law. We're not seeking to create a theocratic state like, let's say, Iran, where you have ayatollahs who are the political leaders. Israel's not seeking to create a state where the prime minister is a rabbi. It could be that one day the prime minister will have a rabbinical ordination, but we're not seeking to impose a religious stance and a, a religious um, framework on the state that would deny the religious sensibilities or rights of others. But recognizing Israel as a Jewish state means as a state of the Jewish people means that you know that we're not just here and you have to live with it, but we're here because we have rights that go back thousands of years. We're here because this is a land that we have a right to, not just something that we managed to conquer. Right? Without that type of recognition, the same way they want the right of Palestinians to live in their land, there will never be any real peace for the long term. It means they view us as something temporary, the same way the Crusaders were viewed as a temporary invasion that the Muslim world eventually overcome. We're not Crusaders who've come as conquerors to the land that they have to live with. We are original owners, and we have rights that go back thousands of years. It's a mental concept that forces the other side to come ter comes to terms with us as legitimate, as people that have historic rights, not just political power. It's a very important distinction. I hope that answers your question.